If you gave me the choice between play or DM, I'll choose DM every time. I don't enjoy playing D&D. I enjoy running D&D. Playing to my strengths, I guess. In this video, I'm going to offer one thought to help you as a player. Build a character based on theme, not numbers. Numbers are things like your attack bonus, how good you are at arcana checks, how much AC, how many hit points you have. The numbers that determine how survivable you are in combat. Theme, that's stuff like, my character is shifty, deceptive. My character is brutish, aggressive, impatient. In looking at a sly, deceptive type of character, you'd expect a high charisma character, high dexterity, roguish. A mastermind that forges things, always uses disguise, and is hard to pin down or find. Perhaps that character is a bard with a quick tongue, clever and witty. Your deception skill is high, as is your sleight of hand and persuasion. You might even have a high insight score. Notice how we're going back to numbers again? Don't do that. Here's why. Building a character based on numbers starts to narrow the scope of your character. In turn, you narrow the contribution your character makes at the table. If your character is based on combat numbers, high AC, as many hit points as possible, good initiative, what weapon lets me roll the most damage, and so on, well, there's nothing wrong with that until you play an entire session without combat. Have you ever just sat there and felt like you don't have much to contribute to the group, to the conversation, to the game? That's because you're a numbers guy, not a theme guy. If the DM doesn't ask for initiative checks, most of your character sheet has no value. See, as a numbers-based character, you're waiting for DM input to turn on your character. Once on, you have a world of options. Problem is, if the DM doesn't indicate that combat has started, your character is turned off. You sit back and you hope for another chance. Now let's look back at the other theme-based character that I mentioned. This character is brutish, aggressive, impatient. Sounds violent, right? This character probably has a lot of value in combat, probably has a weapon that deals a lot of damage, leaning towards D10s rather than D6s. See, the numbers are there, but the focus and the way he or she has played is based on theme, not numbers. See, it's a mindset. I'm thinking aggressive. I'm thinking impatient, bloodlust. I'm not thinking it has to be barbarian, D12s, and it has to be a heavy weapon that rolls the most dice. A theme-based character that's brutish, aggressive, and impatient is quick to pick a fight. You're also always the first one through the door, and you despise standing at the cave entrance, over-planning and over-analyzing the threat that might be in there. See, what you say is, to hell with it. Just go in. Let's see if there's a monster actually in there. If there is, we'll deal with it. When building your numbers-based, combat-oriented, badass, bloodlusting barbarian, you're going to be focused on skills, builds, weapons, and ideas that are solely based around combat. Survive. Be the last man standing. Dish out the most punishment and endure a barrage of damage. You'll start focusing on what's the best subclass, what's the best race, what's the best place to put my stats. It's all a numbers game. I don't play much these days, but in 40 plus years, I've had my fair share of characters. I've enjoyed almost every one of them. But I've always stuck to theme, not numbers. Number characters only turn on when the DM says so. Theme characters, they're always on. They have input as long as you pay attention, respect the others in your group, and find a time to respond to your DM's prompts. Number characters enjoy rolling dice, and they excel in combat. But if combat doesn't happen, they falter. Theme characters might also be good at combat, 
but they contribute much more to the overall game and story. Theme characters give the DM something to work with. They give the DM a few moments of tension that lead to a fight. Theme characters start asking questions of the DM. They get the wheels of story and adventure rolling. They drive the car. Don't play in the back seat as a numbers based character. It's not as engaging. You'll get nauseous and you'll be angry when the DM starts down a windy downhill road. If you're a theme based character, however, you're in the driver's seat. And now that same windy downhill road becomes exhilarating. Theme characters take action, and they don't need dice in order to do so. Number characters interact directly with dice, but when dice aren't being rolled, you sit idle. Choosing to play an idle character obviously gets boring very quickly. So I beg you, be more active. Be more participatory in all aspects of your game. Build characters based on theme, not numbers. Again. These are my thoughts and opinions, and granted, I have a lopsided view of D&D gameplay as I'm all in as a dungeon master, but one thing is certain. As a DM, I've stared across at a lot of characters, and the characters that have been built on theme have always contributed and offered the most to my games. When I reciprocate those efforts, in total, the game that we build shines in the dark.